Hi guys, my name's Laura and I'm the Specky Seamstress. Uh, welcome to my first monthly roundup for the month of April. Um, obviously, one of the most exciting things I did <laughs> this month relating to sewing was set up this channel. So thank you all for subscribing and watching and liking and commenting. I've really enjoyed starting this and long may it continue. <laughs> um, obviously, a lot of YouTubers do uh, monthly roundups of their sewing activities. So... I thought I would join in um, and this is going to be uh, every month but it will be additional to the weekly vlogs that I do so weekly vlogs on Tuesday and then there'll be monthly roundups and other kind of occasional bonus um, footage and films as well depending on what I'm doing so shall we start off with what I've made in April um, I've made quite a few things in April five things in total which I don't think it's too bad for um, someone who was away for the first two weeks of April. So, uh, so let me show you. I am wearing my first make. I don't know quite how good this is going to be. This is a sew over it tulip skirt, which I just finished today. Um, I've had the day off work today and uh, I've been making a couple of things. In this gorgeous parrot fabric that I got from Spotlight while I was in New Zealand. Um, I really love the colour of this. I think you'd call it petrol um, rather than teal. This is curtain fabric, so it really holds those pleats really lovely. Um, I'm gonna show you another sew over tulip skirt that I made. I have a pile behind me. Um, I'm not gonna put this one on. It's just been through the wash and it's really, really creased as you can see. Um, but I will insert a picture of me wearing it in this gorgeous William Morris strawberry thief print um, which I've worn a few times already and I keep getting compliments on um, this was also an old curtain so uh, going well on the curtain fabric for the tulip skirts now I did pockets to this one and lined it I lined it in the curtain lining that um, came with the fabric when I bought it on a, on a D-stash page on Instagram um, and I'm really really happy with it but it was a little bit big um, I made the size 20 um, which aligned to my waist measurement but yeah it was a little bit big so for this version that I'm wearing now I I didn't size down but I took in when I was French seaming the side seams I took in quite a bit on the first um, seam the first sew of the seam and I think it fits a lot better it sort of really fits in at my waist whereas I will have the fun task of unpicking <laughs> unpicking the lining um i have about three or four skirts that i need to do that too so maybe that's like a task for one weekend um but still wearable and i still really really love this and it goes with so many things and i've worn it to sort of smarter things as well i want to make loads more of those tulip skirts i think they're going to be a really good wardrobe staple for me i want to make a denim one i think it'll be quite a nice um twist on the normal denim skirt so yeah quite looking forward to that the only thing I did wrong with this one the, the one I'm wearing is I forgot to add pockets I don't know what or how I love pockets why did I do this I don't really... so this is another one of my mates from today um this is a Tilly and the Buttons Stevie top um which I've enjoyed I'm enjoying a lot more than I thought I would um, I really thought that this style of top would be a bit too shapeless <laughs> for my body shape but um, I like it a lot better than I thought I was going to so I... having just tried the burrito method on the honeycomb um, shirt I thought I would try and give that a go um, so as you can see I have a different fabric um, for a yoke on the inside and everything's all kind of sewn in so I'll turn it inside out and so on the back you can see it's all tied in and, and top stitched around I so definitely want to make more I'm not 100% convinced by the bow I'm not a big bow person I think I made these too thick and maybe in this kind of fabric which is quite it's sort of a medium weight cotton this is fabric from textile express which I think they still have in stock and I'll link below as you can probably see, a lot of my makes, or in fact all of my makes, were swayed by the Sewing Animal April Challenge. So um, Keely and Tamlin and Samantha from 
Voice of a Creative, Sewn on the Tyne and Purple Sewing Cloud, who I'll link all of their um, channels and, and Instagrams on uh, in, the, in the comments box, in the description. Um, have a challenge this year, Sewing Patterns and Prints, and they have a different challenge every month. And this month is sewing animal april and i have so many fabrics <laughs> with animals on i love animals i know that in my um first video i said the things i loved about on fabrics were teal space and dinosaurs well you can add animals onto that i'm not a big fan of kind of traditional animal print like leopard print or snake skin or whatever but animals love <laughs> so um i've been using that challenge as a really good excuse to get uh, some of my sort of stash fabrics sewn up um, let me show you this one on um, but first I'll just say that this fabric is an African wax print which I wasn't sure was going to hold the shape very well but again really love it so um, definitely going to make some more out some more African waxes that I've got in my stash so here's the first one I made you can see it's a less structured fabric than the wax fabric um, but yeah, really happy with it. And this is the blue colourway. So is it too much to have <laughs> two and two colourways on the same top? I don't know. I managed to squeeze this out of a metre. I cut size seven all the way through. I think that for the for the wax, it's above me actually. <laughs> um, I might grade to an eight at the top just for the shoulders. Um, but for this one a seven all round was fine um and i managed to squeeze it out of a meter um so not much else to say about that this one other than the fact one i'm really pleased that i didn't look like i worked in a children's hospital because i really thought for a little while that this print looked a little bit like the scrubs that um nurses who worked in like the children's bit of a and e <laughs> for um, and i was a little bit worried with the kind of shapelessness that it was going to look like that so i'm pleased about that and um also that i'm happy to go into a bit more detail about how i finished this differently i've never filmed like a tutorial and it wouldn't really be a tutorial because <laughs> i'm not saying it's the best way to finish things but um if you'd like to know a little bit more about how i did it then do let me know in the comments box i will um, I... get into the final make i have to show you and this is my final make that i wanted to show you pockets so yeah, I don't forget on this one um this is a dress that I've had cut out and half made for quite a long time it's really pale I'm finding it quite hard to get a good photo of it but it's a map print but with animals so like an atlas like where the animals come from so I've got an elephant there penguin panda it's really fun. Um, I got this fabric from So So Fabrics, who are based in Bexley Heath, sort of South East London, Kent, which is where I grew up. Um, and it went down in the sale ages ago. <laughs> and I ordered some, and my mum very kindly went and collected it for me. And then I immediately cut out a dress, and it sat <laughs> in my stash with my half finished sort of UFO vial for a really long time. Um, and then I decided to come back to it when um, I attempted some batch sewing. So I took a couple of projects that I was sort of half done with and a few new projects. And I decided, you know, I'd sew all of the darts in the bodice one evening and then all of the bias binding and all of the zips. And um, that didn't really work. That's an idea I'd really like to revisit. <laughs> um, but it was about when stretch fabrics took over and then all of my woven projects got, got abandoned and all of those were woven projects so that was uh, not ideal. This is the basic bodice from So Many Dresses So Little Time which is the book I was very kindly bought um, by my colleagues when I moved jobs last summer and I fiddled around with the fit quite a bit. I think this is probably the best fit I've got. I get a little bit, there's a little bit more to play around with the armhole I think um, but I got quite a lot of gaping before at the back and I've done a few adjustments which I'll go into probably another time um, but yeah really really happy with this so happy I finished it what a great excuse for sewing animals so I have a half make for this month 
which is this honeycomb shirt or more the bodice of the honeycomb shirt. It's another exciting thing that's happened this month um, that Kate launched the uh, Haystack um, digital sewing subscription pack and this is the pattern I got and I was quite happy because it's not necessarily something I would have bought myself but I was quite keen to try which is probably the perfect thing to get from a subscription pack and I picked out this duvet cover fabric that was from Asda, George Asda uh, which is really cool and fits in with the animal theme and I sewed it up with the gathered peplum which you're supposed to do and I really didn't like it it looked awful on me it just didn't suit me at all and I was so gutted because I really enjoyed the construction of this I like the little collar I've not put the buttons on um yet but um I like doing the princess seams the sleeves went in really well um and I was really happy but yeah I just didn't I didn't like it uh, I've tried pleating it and pinning it on pleated and I didn't really like that either so I was really hoping to finish that this month or this this month and I haven't <laughs> so that's the makes my makes for this month and um, what other things have I been up to in April I went to the Sewis Faction birthday party uh, where I picked up some swaps so some fabric swaps and pattern swaps which you can see in my video which I will link here um, about the day that was really good fun um, going and seeing Shona and the shop and uh, I happened to win a £50 gift voucher um, from the quiz there so I have £50 to spend when I next go and visit which is uh, really exciting because I might go and treat myself to some art gallery fabric um, if I can convince myself that's the right thing to do. Um, I have been told by my husband I can't spend that until I've cleared some space in my sewing room. So I need to get sewing fabric set up. <laughs> because as well as going to Sewis Faction's birthday party, I also went to um, Lubidoo Fabrics, which is up near Worcester. Um, so it was about a two hour drive for me, but I really wanted to go and see the bricks and mortar shop that Laurel's just opened and uh, celebrate her birthday and see the shop in person and meet Laurel. And I did, and I'll show you what I got. got this, which is from a pre-order that um, was run by Laurel. Look at the colours in this. I told you I like teal, I told you I like animals, particularly big cats. <laughs> really happy with this. Uh, I've got two metres of this and I think it's destined to become a Joni dress. Um, although I do have a new pattern that I want to try, so we shall see. Then I got this, which is an organic sweatshirting. I'm going to try and whiz through these fabrics because um, I talk for too long normally. <laughs> this video can't be too long. Um, which is an organic brushed back um sweatshirting that went down to half price in the sale and uh, i've been eyeing it up so i'm quite pleased with that i've only got some more <laughs> um, yeah it's i know it's completely novelty but uh how more millennial am i gonna be wearing an avocado top i'm probably gonna make a freya top out of this that's how i'll be more millennial by wearing like a dungaree over the top of it <laughs> um another meter of these gorgeous sprinkles which um, keep going out of stock super quick I have a meter of this already and I was planning on making just a top probably just a freya but uh, once someone in Laurel's Facebook group the like pre-orders and chat group for Lubadoo I'll link it down below posted a deer and doe Sirocco jumpsuit in this fabric and it made me want one <laughs> so I've bought enough I'm gonna just make the short version um, I say this, I haven't made one yet, but that's the plan once I know that the pattern works and fits. Um, I picked up more big cat fabric. This is a Modal jersey, uh, which is so soft. Um, this scuba crepe, which I've seen um, Tamlin from Sewn on the Tyne has some of this, and I'll be keen to see what she makes from it. Um, I sew sewed? <laughs> sewed with some scuba crepe. Um, some plain navy scuba crepe and it's lovely I, it's I'm not a big scuba girl but um the crepe texture is really lovely it doesn't crease and it looks really smart and again this wouldn't be the natural print I would normally go for if you kind of described it to me but I saw it and I wanted it <laughs> so I'm just going to make myself a little pencil skirt I think in this um because I think that'll be quite nice 
for work. I picked up this. So Laurel mostly does or mostly started selling stretch fabrics jerseys, but has started stocking a whole range of fabrics. And this cotton poplin is so lovely. It has space. I mean, I live up to what I say, you know, I'm not lying. And finally on the space front, I have this. Now, I'm not sure how well this is going to come up on camera. The light is fading on me fast here today. Um, but this is a beautiful blue fabric. This isn't on the website yet. And Laurel very, very kindly um, gifted me two metres of this um, to make a dress because she knows I love space. <laughs> and it has constellations on it. Is that going to focus? Do you see very pale grey constellations in amongst all of the kind of light blue stars? And she's got this in three colours. There's a mustard and I want to say there's a grey. Um, and I'm sure if you want this, you could join the Facebook group and let Laurel know um, because she says she's really struggling to get a good stock photo of it. So I'm going to make a dress, um, probably a wrap dress, and try and get some good photos. Um, but I love this, so thank you very much, Laurel. I'd love to hear how you found that video, whether you liked it or not. I, Like I said, I haven't done one of these before. I know that some people do like a monthly makes and plans video. I just think I talk too much to fit <laughs> makes and plans into one video. Um, the only problem I have with plans videos is that I never stick to the plans I make. So it might just be sort of a diary uh, that, I don't know, I look back and think, oh, I plan to do that. <laughs> Which, you know, this is, might, might be self-torture. Um, anyway, let me know. I hope you guys have had a wonderful April and have some great plans for May. And I've got some exciting makes that I definitely will be making um, in May, which I can't wait to show you. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and check out, check out my Instagram at Laura Danable, which I will link below. Um, as per normal, everything should be in the description. Thanks very much, guys. Bye.